Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. Thanks so much for joining me for day 41 of Take a Con Journey with Me. The title of today's poem is called Confusion. It can come from many avenues and directions towards us and by us. Um, we're confused by so many things in life and after much heartache and confusion, we can confuse reality with fiction. You know, and it's, it's not until we give our hearts and souls to God that we will be rid of our ridding ourselves of such confusion. Sure, each day we'll find something new to be confused about, but when walking with God, we can better battle the, through those confusions. And I've been saying a lot all along, it starts with repentance and conversion, then staying in daily prayer to Him, constant prayer to Him. Asking Jesus to come into our lives and asking His will for our lives. It's hard, as everything is, but with practice, like learning to ride a bike better. <laughs> Genesis 11 verse 7, come let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. Psalms 55 and 9, Lord confuse the wicked, confuse, confound their words, for I see violence and strife in the city. Proverbs 23 and 33, your eyes will see strange sights and your mind will imagine confusing things. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Confusion. I thought I was the best at lying, but not by not saying lies, but by my actions. I've now met my match for lying. He lies for what reasons, I don't know. I never wanted to hurt anyone around me. I've tried to spare them from my world. Some have thought of me as stuck up, but it was just me not letting anyone in my world. A world that's full of confusion, also one of lies, deceit, and oh, so much pain. Pain that's been physically hurtful, yet also emotionally tormenting. I never tried to hurt or lie to others. I'm sorry for any confusion that I've caused. I pray my God will find a way to forgive me for hurting him, myself, and others. Sorry. Confusion. This was written in 2005, again, in my darkest times. So what are you living in confusion about today? Are there things in your life that keep you going in circles over? Do you ever feel like that you just can't get out of this horrible hamster wheel that you're going about day by day? Give this confusion to God today that he, that he may not, we not go on and overnight by but never falter in your daily prayer to him. Be faithful to him and show yourself approved. Amen.